Hi, I'm a greasy little monkey, and this is my tech review. Uh, this is not a tech review channel. This is a comedy channel that lost relevance years ago. But I am an editor, so this review is coming from the perspective of an editor, not a gamer. Even though the laptop I'm reviewing uh, is a Zydax XM6, and Zydax brands their stuff as gaming computers. Uh, this computer I had spec'd out for what I felt was best for editing. Uh, when I was researching computers, uh, I was interested in this company, and I only saw like one one review for their laptops, and it was just like some dude unboxing it. It wasn't like a very informative video. So I needed this information and it wasn't there. So now I'm putting it out there in the uh, large um, ecosystem of laptop review videos. I just want to throw my, I just want to throw one on the pile, you know? Okay, this this thing spec'd out was around uh, with what I got. Let me show you. Uh, let me just read off the list of what it is so I don't fudge it up. It's a core, Intel 6 core i7. I got 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, which might be overkill. It's a 17.3 inch full HD. I'm not used to computers this big. In fact, when I got this thing, the size was almost enough to make me want to like trade it in for a smaller model, but I've gotten used to it. You know, it's definitely not a thin and light, but um, you know, I could put this thing in a bag and I could bike to work. And if I'm working here, I'm working at home or some other remote office, this is fine. I'm not like hacking, you know, some company in a train station and all of a sudden the goon squad comes and like an Edgar Wright montage, I need to put on my rollerblades, stick this thing in my bag and skate away. I'm not, I don't need that type of mobility. This is fine. Storage, I have a uh, 250 gigabyte uh, NVMe M.2 um, boot drive, and then I have a 500 gig SSD drive where I keep all of my footage that I'm editing with. Three year warranty, um, and all that was around $1,800. Cool? Cool. Let's move along. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to mention the graphics card. It's a GTX 1050 Ti with 4 gigabytes GDDR5, whatever that means. Which I know is not the beefiest of the GPUs out there, but as I said, I'm not really using this computer game. In spite of the fact that I'm using game footage over this audio, ignore that, I really just wanted an excuse to get around in. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the GPU. My workload isn't crazy. I'm usually editing little comedy sketches or boring corporate videos with HD footage. The ports. I'm just gonna put up some video of the side of the computer with uh, titles so you can see what's going on. That'll be easiest. And you don't gotta listen to me ramble. The battery life. From what I remember from other review channels, uh, I believe its peers were in a higher percentile. I think I remember like the razor blade was like Oh yeah, six hours of like gaming, like hardcore gaming, you could be on it for six hours without plugging it in. I could be wrong, and I don't remember. Uh, but I, it definitely wasn't no two hours, which is what I got out of this thing, while I was editing, which, you know, is taxing to a system. Within that two hours, yeah, I was editing, and I was web browsing and just doing normal stuff. You know, I, I work from home or in an office. Like, it's gonna be plugged in, so that, that never bothered me. Okay, so the performance of this thing, um, I don't have, I don't have fancy benchmarks, okay? I'm not like the other review channels. I'm not gonna download benchmarking software and, like, tell you, like, what frame rate this thing can run Crisis at. That's not even what I'm doing with it. I'm editing on it. Uh, so what my silly little test is, um, <laughs> for exporting, what I did was, I took an old timeline, tack a bunch of raw footage on it, so it was 45 minutes of HD footage uh, with a silly color pass over it, and then I exported it. And that all took about 30 minutes. How about that fan noise? Pretty quiet, huh? So when you're editing in church, you won't disturb the other parishioners. Oh, they're starting to read Ecclesiastes. That's my favorite book. It's starting to get pretty warm back here. 
It's been running for about 20 minutes now. It's not alarmingly hot, but it's kind of hot. Oh, real quick. Between shooting this video and posting, I got my dirty little fingers on some 4K files, sorta. They were actually ProRes 422 HQ files. It handled them well, not perfectly. I had an issue with the audio cutting in and out, but there was no stutter in the actual footage during playback. But that didn't matter all that much for this edit because I was using proxies. I again did my silly export test by copying and pasting my edit until I had 30 minutes of footage. With no color grades and exporting a high res H.264 file, it took about 30 minutes. I know that isn't necessarily a real life scenario, but I just, I wanted to give you guys something. So, you know, do with that information what you will. I guess I should open it up. I probably should have had it open the whole time. The trackpad. The trackpad itself doesn't click, which I would prefer that it did, uh, but you got two little buttons down here. I will be nitpicky. Um, never before did I want to use a mouse while I was editing. Let me explain that. Uh, for the longest time using Macs, with the Mac trackpad, I preferred using it. It just, it's very, it was very smooth and like just right on and you know, when you need to cut like just frames off a clip, you can just make the my, most minute little movements with your little thingy and just get that one frame and just clip it right off. This guy, sometimes I'm like, yep, boop, boop, all right, come on, let's just, just read what my finger's doing, just that little, see right now, I'm making just the tiniest little movement and it's, it's kind of struggling. So I prefer using the mouse now because I can make those tiny little adjustments. Not a deal breaker, but you know, it's definitely something I noticed. The speakers on this thing are not great, and I already did a comparison in another video. Um, if you're just here for the laptop review and you don't know the type of work I do, a lot of it is these comedy vlogs on a separate channel, and we did a whole thing about me looking for a computer, and in the video where I finally got this, we compared uh, this laptop speakers to the Mac speakers. So I'm just gonna link uh, up in the corner, wherever you can click on that, go watch the video. I'll have a timestamp so you can just go right to the part where we're comparing the speakers. To be fair, this is a gaming laptop. Most gaming laptops are notorious for having speakers that aren't so great. Uh, the webcam, it works. I, what, do you, what do you want? I don't know, there it is. You you decide. That's Mary. You know, can I take a picture with me? Oh, it's a video. It's a video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last thing, because uh, this is something people seem to care about. It doesn't it doesn't hold fingerprints. I can run them all up and down this thing. It's clean as a whistle. Sweet. Okay. I think I checked all the boxes. Overall, my final thoughts, I really like this computer. If there's a couple things I could change about it, uh, I wish it were a little bit smaller. I wish it was a baller. I wish it had a rabbit with a hat. Uh, how's that? <laughs> how's that go? Yeah, whatever. Trackpad could be a little more responsive. Speakers could be better. Whatever. Um, what I do like about it, it's got ports for days. Uh, it has that full-size SD card slot, which is um, hard to find these days. Fully customizable inner workings, so you can get exactly what you want. It's it's built. It's solid, solid build quality. Can't just almost no flex. Oh, did I even tell? I didn't even tell you about the keys. Keys feel great. You know, they packed their bags because they're ready to travel. Some cons, pros. Overall, I'm, I'm good. I, I like it. I'm happy. Okay, that's it. That's it and that's all. Um, now I'm going to bed. All right, I hope this was, I hope this review was useful and relevant and uh, most of all, I hope, you, I hope you had a good time. Okay, bye bye.